Hungry users, Alex here, you be guide, and today I want to show you some cool tip that will add a little photorealistic aspects to your models as cloth and branches. We're going to talk about displacement map. You know, 3ds Max have its own displays, which in my opinion, a little bit better than V-Ray displacement because you actually can see what you do. With V-Ray, you have to render or you have to use V-Ray RT in order to have live preview mode for your displacement map. But with the one that's got 3ds Max, it's called Displace, you can actually apply maps and see how it works with your mesh in your preview without any render. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to set my uh, model to be presented in material color. Here's my pillows and I have texture applied to those pillows it's a great texture and I'm gonna have a quick render something like this all right now uh, in order to work with displays you have to put your models on the object color mode that way your object will not present the texture and will always show the color the actual color of the mesh and after doing that you can go to your modifiers and add this place here you have those parameters when you can tweak them so first thing first you have to load your map let's take uh, one of those this is good and now I want to show you how this map actually being applied to my mesh I can also open and rotate uh, my displacement map and I can use different mapping I'm gonna use planner I'm gonna press fit in order to fit my displace to the object alright so you can see that this displace is a little bit too strong so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add just a bit something like this and I can add another map and have a transition between those maps let's load this one and I can also blur it if I want it to be less uh, less sharp I can also blur it a little bit but for my case for my example I just want to leave it as it is luminance center is actually uh, the level the center from which the map grows so I can if the if my map explodes or pushes too far my displacement I can also lower it now as you can see here so I'm gonna lower it or, or rise it up so somewhere between here could be a good thing and we can press I'm gonna clone this so we can compare I press render so we can already see I get a little bit better wrinkles here and I have a little bit more detail in my model. Now, the cool thing about it, as you can see, I get more, more, much more details here in, in all, the, all, the, all the wrinkles. The cool thing about it is I can add another displace map. I can add as much as I want those displace maps, displace modifiers. And I can pull as much as I want different displace maps to it just to have that nice organic look to my object. And DK, DK is actually the one that pushes it back. And I'm gonna load another one. I'm gonna load this. And you can see it's not, it's actually touching my lower part of the pillow so I actually need to go and make and fit it press fit button in order to fit my gizmo properly all right and play a little bit more with the amount I don't want to go too much because it will create unrealistic result I just going to have a little bit of those wrinkles added so we have this and we have this and we can go ahead and make another render 
and compare it to what we had earlier so this those are the small details that actually add a little bit more realistic look to your uh, to your final result so you can see here uh, I added much better looking pillows much better much softer and after I'm done doing this what I can do is I can collapse the entire object and I have this mesh ready to go and ready to be rendered in my scene now if it's a little bit too much you can always add turbo smooth just to smooth just to add a little bit more geometry in order to get a little bit smoother result on your on your pillows on your cloth objects so something like this probably will produce a little bit better a little bit better result all right uh, same thing you can do with your branches uh, if you have trees and stuff you can also go and uh, let's make a cylinder here and let's see you gotta have enough mesh to it in order to pull this up because if you don't have enough geometry your displacement will not work properly so this is maybe the only downside of that uh, of that trick that it takes a lot of resources in order to pull it in order to pull it out but besides that it's actually working pretty well and gives really nice realistic results so i'm gonna press d and click displace and I'm going to choose cylindrical mode for this and I'm going to go and load my map here I'm going to go out from my displacement mode and as you see here I get really nice realistic looking branch I can always use decay to push it back a little bit uh, I can use blur amount to smooth if it's too sharp I can smooth it in a little bit but generally speaking I get really nice presentation of the branch it works uh, a little bit better than um, you know the regular displacements because I think it renders a little faster just because it's been baked into your model so after you're done doing this remember just to collapse it all and have your mesh ready to go all right so i hope you enjoyed this tip share it with your friends and thanks a lot for wishing me happy birthday today is my birthday thanks a lot to all guys that posted wishes on my facebook wall i wish you all the best keep following and join my upcoming interior challenge hope to see you inside this is alex your beauty.